Assalamu alaikum and greetings, Alishan Mao here. Well, finally, I found time to set up a flight controller and FPV system on my ZOHD Dart, the swept forward wing FPV flying wing. Now, previously, I have posted a maiden flight testing of this uh, ZOHD Dart flying wing, and it gave me superb flight performance and a lot of flight times as well that means it does have capabilities to fly long range now in this weather here i am really not willing to fly long range on my very first flight after setting up the flight controller and uh, fpv system but i do want to fly it today and test the capabilities of this new flight controller i installed let me introduce you the sn light flight controller that has nice features gps features like assisted auto takeoff mode altitude and uh, heading lock flight mode uh, circle mode auto return to home flight mode where you can set the altitude yes auto return to home safe altitude for your aircraft if it is flying lower and if you activate auto return to home it will climb up to that altitude and then auto return to home which is very nice feature it also have a stabilized and manual mode that's what i like you can switch off all the stabilization you can switch off all the gps assisted flight mode and put your aircraft in complete manual mode to perform some aerobatics like flip and dive down straight on a mountain surfing the mountain edges or big buildings or something like that so yes having to have a manual mode is a blessing right here so manual mode stabilized mode heading hold and uh, altitude hold mode auto circle mode auto return to home those are the key features of this flight controller not to mention it has a sweet osd as well which i will try to record dvr so you can actually see it enough talking let me give you a quick looky looky at my setup right here and then we'll set it up for a flight and see how this new flight controller is behaving all right first off i have installed two cameras all right you can see i have a hd camera the q6 okay the firefly q6 and i have a run cam fpv camera as well after that uh, just a temporary installation of my video transmitter ts 832s 600 milliwatt video transmitter 5.8 gsz gps is here my l9r a receiver long range receiver is here which is supposed to give me six to seven kilometer range on uh, uh, free sky tyrannus x9d and my flight control is right there okay in here uh, what you want to notice is a, a pmu power management unit okay which not only powers the flight controller but also supplies 5 volt and 12 volt out so you can feed the 5 volt to your receiver and 12 volt to something else um well i'm i'm not using that 12 volt at the moment but i'm using 5 volt to my receiver only now let me take off the back so you can actually see the flight controller itself all right there you go let me put the cables away so you can see the beautiful face of this little flight controller now you might want to notice how small it is it's really nice and compact fits really well inside and for the flight and for the flying wing i just had to connect my uh, aileron one to aileron and aileron two to elevator and throttle to throttle that's all uh, for fixed wing uh, traditional fixed wing four channel you can also connect the rudder and you know it will connect it will control the rudder as well while flying for stabilization and everything my r my l9r is sitting there with only one cable coming out and going to the flight controller that means i'm using s bus which was really quick for this flight controller to detect and everything works like a charm the other cable that's coming out is basically going to the pmu for five volts so i can supply five volts here and that is supplying my receiver and is supplying this side of the uh, flight controller and also controlling the servo I mean supplying the power to servo using the stock ZOHD ESC nothing changed there 
All right, nothing much to say. Now let me show you the OSD screen. Now, the good thing about the SNL is that you do not need computer to set up the parameters and anything like that. You just need your radio control and it's a stick and the settings are right there using the OSD. So using the OSD, you can set all the parameters of the flight controller, all the settings of the flight controllers you can control using the OSD only, including the PID values, including, I mean, I mean, as, I mean, when I said you don't need computer, you don't need computer. OSD does everything here. And honestly speaking, it was super easy to set up. Everything just worked right after making the connections. All right, my this camera is running out of battery. Let me pick up my head cam and set it up for a flight and see how it goes. All right, so here goes nothing. Back, Ali Shanmel. It's a good day to fly RC. Remember to fly hard and crash harder. Have fun. Okay, Dart XL. I have set two switches: uh, flight mode one and sub mode. So basically, here's manual. Then we have sub mode, which is heading hold, hovering. That means circle around and auto return to home okay and down here is a stabilized mode all right so very simple very easy to use and using the flight mode switch you can switch to osd as well now let me close the openings first all right now where's the battery it's the battery and basically the cg balances really well with the battery here and having all these cameras inside let me just check again CG marks, CG marks are right here. Uh, a little bit tail heavy with all the camera and everything, it's still tail heavy. So I'm gonna move the battery slightly forward. Uh oh, very nose heavy, very nose heavy. So on the wings, you want to balance them really nice, I can tell you, because if you don't you're gonna regret it i can tell you that you're gonna regret that right here and right here perfectly balanced awesome and after i put this on i believe it should be uh perfectly cg balanced there you go all right very good so radio is on and we're gonna power on the plane now oh hold on let me secure the battery okay and we will let it find the gps satellites now all right everything seems to be working properly Aileron, elevators moving in right direction, left, right, okay. Let me check the uh, stabilization mode, if the surfaces are working right. Down, elevator goes up, nose up, elevators go down. Right turn, left aileron comes up, left bank, right aileron comes up. So, the stabilization seems to be working. 
All right, now I'm going to take off in manual mode so I can control uh, the plane first and then put it on stabilized mode. All right, I'll take off this way, okay? Manual mode take off. I told you last time that there was a torque roll on this plane. And stabilize mode. All right. Oh man. Now the plane behaves really sweet. Very nice and straight flight. It's still going down a bit. So I will try the altitude hold mode and heading hold. In altitude and heading hold mode the rudder will change the direction and elevator will change the uh, pitch, I mean the altitude and ailerons will simply disengage the uh, heading hold mode. So let's see how it goes. Heading on an altitude mode I see throttle pitching up I can still see the plane I just don't want to go too far I cannot see anything all right heading hold mode coming straight turn with the rudder only yeah very nice actually don't go to it's really nice <laughs> go to the cables there it's really nice that as soon as you uh, touch the ailerons altitude hold and heading hold will disengage and when you leave right in one or two seconds uh, altitude hold and heading hold will engage sweet very nice okay now that I'm this far, I will hit the auto return to home. Oh, it's a start climbing to 120 meters. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, we are way too high. Let's disengage that, put it in a stabilization mode. Sweet, it comes back really nice. Very, very good. Okay, and as I said, when you want manual mode, just like this. And now you can do all the aerobatics you want, see? So I can pitch the nose down. And bring the plane down really quick. Stabilize mode on. Man, this flight controller is even better than the one I am using before the AP1 AP1 was very very nice but they just discontinued it for no reason and now this SNL I found superb even easier than AP1 to set up and connections are super duper easy and performance is simply amazing look at that sweet all right, so I'm gonna land and enjoy some FPV, all right? Hold on. Dart XL, man. What a superb flyer. And in a stabilized mode, the torque roll is gone because <laughs> flight controller is taking care of everything. It's flying now like it's on rails, man. Like locked on something. Right, nice landing, man.
All right, I had really amazing flight. Honestly speaking, I wasn't expecting this amazing nice performance with SNL, out of SNL flight controller. This is really a superb flight controller and I gotta get me one or two more, one more for the glider probably as well so I can fly FPV on glider as well. Well as you watched during this flight I did not go too far because this is my very first test flight and I did not want to go too far. Uh, I just wanted to test how the plane is behaving which of course is behaving fantastic. Thank you very much ZOSD. ZOSD Dart Excel is definitely definitely one of the best long-range FPV platforms and SNL definitely is proving very reliable and very useful as well. So I didn't go too far today not just because I wanted to test how things are working but also because I have a crappy antenna right here you can see rubber ducky antenna which I'm sure I cannot go too far on that. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna remove this video transmitter and install my favorite thousand milliwatt one watt video transmitter right here I'll keep the uh, Swift camera from uh, Runcam. I'll, this camera is superb. It's really nice. I can actually take the audio video out feed from my uh, the Q6 camera like I used to do when I, I put it on Mini Talon. I can actually like I used to do when I put it on Mini Talon. I, I didn't have another camera. I just take the AV feed out from the uh, Q6 and that means I don't have to use another camera. But hey, for now I'm just gonna keep it this way because this way I can swap the HD cameras anytime I want. So next, first thing, change it uh, the video transmitter to 1 watt. After that I'm gonna change this patch antenna as well. I'm gonna use my favorite Aomway uh, diamond patch antenna. Using this I went six kilometers or more without any glitch and with one watt video transmitter. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna put a one watt video transmitter here, change the patch antenna to this one and then go for some long range FPV. This way I can also test the range of L9R receiver so I can see how far I can go and I can also see how well the ZOHD Dart XL can do when it comes to long range FPV flights. Thank you very much for watching this lengthy video and stay tuned for long range FPV videos depending on how the weather goes because it's gonna start raining very very soon tonight I'm sure. Today was the only day according to weather reports that I came out to test that it didn't rain and I came out to test this and I'm really really glad this thing is a superb FPV setup now. Definitely stay tuned for more long range FPV videos on using Zeal HD Dart XL. Come on, you know what to do. Hit that like button. It's right there. I know you can do it. Oh, while you're at it, also hit the subscribe button. Right there. Come on, don't be shy. Just hit it. Thank you very much for all your support towards my work that I post regular and fresh content on my channel just for you. Hit that like button.